welcome once again to Adhistar lectures on electronics and optics. Today I will show you how to put a structure uh, based on different, different geometries and which you can bring from over here. So there are lots of structure, triangle, rectangle, polygon and you can design your own structure from the uh, given geometries. So here is the material explorer where you can get the, all the material and you can add new material that also I will show you how to add a new material from the material library and these attributes tab I am not going to discuss right now but this is this will be discussed later maybe uh, for some advanced design. Now this one is the components so from here you can put directly uh, the inbuilt component so that um, the periodic structure, photonic crystals and many things you can put directly uh, from this components, component tab or component group. This one is the groups, so which contains container structure and analysis. The utility of the structure group and analysis group is very, very, very useful. Container group is not, it's just to use to contain the all other groups. And this one is already you have seen in my last tutorial, the simulation and the mesh region. This one is the analysis, the different type of analysis, what you can do. Import the structure. This is the NK material, the material you can import the NK material. If you have the material database, as you can see, uh, if you click uh, on any type of material, the, uh, the refractive index with respect to the wavelength, it takes in the form of a table. So such type of table if you have this is the real uh, refractive index and this is the imaginary part of the refractive index okay now similarly if you have the similar type of table you can import this nk material this is for building some layers and this one is sources different type of sources already you know this there are different type of monitors stacks this is sports if anything will be required i will demonstrate accordingly and directly from there also you can go to the material explorer and from there you, do, you can go to the material database well so let's start oh one more thing so there are lots of tabs uh, there are lots of examples given uh, for you this is kb is a knowledge base these are the documentation for the health how to simulate now let's start our second tutorial here i am going to put some structure based on the geometries i'll drag from over there and I will simulate it. I'm clicking on the structure on the rectangular geometry. Now I'm right clicking on that and edit object. So in this edit object, you can set the geometry or one more thing. You can drag your, your mouse button. You can drag anywhere the structure, but to be precise, you should edit and you put the coordinate for the X coordinate for the Y and coordinate for the Z and corresponding either you can choose the uh, minimum X. Uh, maximum x minimum y similarly or directly you can choose the x pan so if you choose x pan as here i'm choosing 0 0.3 micrometer so minus 0.1 micrometer will be with respect so the spanning will, will be with respect to the zero so minus 1.15 micrometer will be uh, the negative x axis as x mean and plus 0.15 micrometer will be along the positive x axis as x max here also everything i'm putting as 0 0.3 micrometer assuming this one is a cube look this coordinates okay this one is the coordinate zero this one is the plus 0 0.15 micrometer this one is a minus 0 0.15 micrometer and i'm naming it as medium one clicking on the second one naming it medium two and now I, sh I I'm interested to put this structure or this geometry in front of the first one and I want to make an interface in between them. So this edge of the second medium should come at the end of the first medium. I will make it the same cube with the same dimension but a shifted coordinate with respect to the first medium. So what will be the co x coordinate of the first medium because I want to place the second medium uh, on the right of the first medium uh, but the spanning of the second medium also will be same because the dimension also will be same uh, as the first medium so i'm going to put it at 0 0.3 micrometer is the x coordinate for the second medium and i'm putting the spanning also 0 0.3 so it will take uh, 
the 0.15 as the minimum x minimum for the second medium which is the end of the uh, first medium that is the, the interface where I, I want to make the interface and the y coordinate is 0 x co z coordinate is 0 and the spanning along the z and y both are 0. So now you have a two medium of two, two cube two cubic medium and if I deselect them one problem you can face that you cannot identify which medium or where the interface is placed okay this problem is appearing as uh, the color of these two medium by is by default similar Frankly speaking i i didn't find any of the any method to change the color directly rather i have found a different way so i'm going to the material library so here i'm adding a new material uh, for the medium one say i'm adding an nk material let's say it is uh, custom medium one this is the real part of the refractive index the imaginary part of the refractive index so as you know the real part of the refractive index is responsible for the propagation of the wave and imaginary part of the refractive index is responsible for the absorption of the wave at the beginning i'm not considering the absorption let's consider only the real part of the refractive index as one point say five one point five is a refractive index color is uh, red okay next another nk material i am adding so custom medium 2 i am choosing the color as uh, let's say blue and i am choosing it is 2.4 okay now i am going to the medium 1 edit object this is the material tab you can directly put the refractive index of the of the medium the refractive index will be arbitrarily you can choose arbitrarily or in other way you can choose any material from the library okay and similarly i'm choosing the custom medium one and i'm pressing it's so, okay as you can see the color is gets changed for the second medium i'm doing the same thing and i'm choosing the custom medium two the interface is clearly visible and the refractive index is set the for the first medium it is 1.4 and for the second medium it is 2.4 the second thing i am putting the simulation region placing the simulation region you know the uh, this is the fgtd numerical boundary within which your structure should be there and the simulation will be performed within the boundary of this fgtd and you cannot put multiple FDTD on a single simulation. This is the, the XY view the, along this direction. This is the X axis. This is the Y axis. So this is the X, minimum X boundary. This is the maximum X boundary. This is the maximum Y boundary. This is the minimum Y boundary. The same thing happens for the XZ view also. And this is the perspective view. If you need that the uh, incoming wave gets absorbed when it is passing through a particular material or particular medium, then you should place the PML or the perfectly matched layer. If you right click on the FTD, edit object. And here, first of all, I'm going to choose the 2D simulation, 2D, two dimensional simulation. Oh, one more thing, look at here, the background material. What is the background material? This black region is a background material and the refractivity of the background material is set to one. You can change it, I'm keeping it one. And the boundary condition, you can set the minimum X is PML. All boundaries are PML. That means the perfectly matched layer. Uh, along any direction, if wave propagates, finally, once touching this boundary, the wave will be absorbed looking at this boundary one problem i can mention that if you just simulate this particular structure as you can see at uh, right now you will simulate the background material and the first medium having one interface between the background material and the first medium then you are simulating the first medium and second medium having the second interface between these two medium and you will also simulate uh, the second medium and the background material having the third interface between these two material along the x direction similarly it, it happens along the y direction also however along the z direction uh, since i have chosen it is as the two dimensional simulation by default this two dimensional simulation is performed on the x y plane the z height is based by default it is zero so along the z direction is nothing will be simulated only the simulation will be performed on the x y plane I am not interested to simulate the background material. Rather, I just want to simulate the only one interface. What happens between these two material? So I should bring the boundary over this material. What you will, what this boundary will see, that will be simulated. I am going to choose the source. So the source is uh, plane wave. By default, it is directing along the y direction. So I am interested to place along along this direction. Along that means the injection axis should be along the x-axis 
because the interface exists at x equals to 0 so the interface exists at x equals to 0 0.15 micrometer along the x direction so this is this pink arrow represents the injection axis and the blue arrows it represents the polarization so the electric field direction of the electric field so obviously the direction of the magnetic field is perpendicular on the electric field so that means towards us or towards you so going to edit object and y axis so this is the injection axis injection axis i'm changing to x axis all these polarizations i do not need to change right now okay the wavelength i'm considering only one wavelength 0 0.5 micrometer it is also 0 0.5 micrometer just you have seen that once i i put the 0 0.5 over something is changed on the boundary on the on the width of this boundary there is a pml perfectly match layer because the perfectly match layer is a numerical boundary that is developed to absorb the wave and it depends on the width of the numerical boundary. So the longer is the wavelength, the longer will be the boundary. And I can put this one and I can place this my, my structure. Now one problem I can, uh, as I am facing right now, that this any object is snapping to the grid by default. So that thing also you can change from here. Just go to settings or uh, go to view and drawing grid view and here so grid snap to grid so i'm unchecking the snap to grid now as you can see they are not snapping to any point the source is the plane wave source the boundary you should change i'm clicking on the everyd now what should be the boundary that is based on what you want along the x direction the wave is propagating and when it will reach uh, the x boundary what i want i want the wave will be absorbed so i'm going to the boundary condition so along the x minimum and y minimum they are pml that is the absorbing boundary condition that is fine but along the y direction uh, the wave i'm choosing as either periodic when you are using the plane wave you have to choose either periodic or block so first of all i'm choosing the block now there is a basic difference by choosing the block uh, boundary condition or the periodic boundary condition and when your inject injection axis or the wave is injecting being parallel with respect to the y boundaries you can choose either periodic or block but when the your wave is injected by making an angle with respect to the x axis then you should you must choose the block boundary condition because but while it is making an angle there is a phase variation and to account that phase variation we generally choose the block boundary condition okay but in this case either you can choose the periodic boundary condition or the block boundary condition so i'm choosing the block boundary condition first okay now as you have seen the orientation of the boundary gets changed suddenly now i can place a bit wider this is the, the spanning of the source along the y direction i don't want the source should be spanned so large along the y direction it is expected that the spanning should be within the numerical domain or the ability domain the last thing is the monitor here also i am going to put the movie monitor this movie monitor only will show you the waveform and what happens at the at the interface how the wave gets reflected and transmitted at the interface everything you can visualize but nothing you can calculate using this movie monitor you just visualize the things and for this tutorial this is the purpose uh, how to calculate the transmission and the reflection that i will explain later the setup is completed now i'm going to check checking the memory requirements as you can see it is using 82 mb and that is fine these are the specifications that i have used the minimum and maximum wavelength is 0 0.5 so simulation wavelength is basically 0 0.5 minimum frequency is derived uh, with respect to the given wavelength this is the initialization of the mesh what the mesh you can design over there uh, within these two mediums the wavelength gets changed they are not 0 0.5 for the first medium it is 0 0.5 divided by 1.4 and for the second medium it is 0 0.5 divided by 2.4 the, sh the shorter wavelength is appearing within the higher index material so i should choose or i i should change the uh, minimum mesh step with respect to the most shorter wavelength which is available over there so that is 0 0.5 divided by 2.4 
and I'm putting a question mark over it here uh, signifying that I want to calculate the value of this and I should put a semicolon so 0 0.2 is this factor so this is the uh, at present wavelength when the wave is propagating through the second medium copy this thing placing over there now I'm dividing by 2000 So this one will be 0 0.000146, this one will be our minimum mesh step. But be careful, we generally do not change this one in every simulation until and unless extremely necessary. Because once you are changing these values, you are basically changing the mesh step along x, y and z all directions. Okay, although the simulation is significant along the x direction only. But changing this one, I am changing the... Uh, property along the all directions okay so therefore this is not desired this may be necessary if you have some complex structure along all direction and then you can think to change this particular settings otherwise do not change then what to do i should simulate this structure along the x direction and here i'm going to place a mesh i'm just putting over my simulation region if i go to the edit object as you can see the mesh exists along the x, y and z direction overriding the existing mesh setting. I am just unchecking them. I, I, I don't want this mesh along the y and z direction. I want this mesh only along the x direction. So this mesh will define the settings along the x direction and this factor now you can put only along the x direction. So that will not increase your simulation time much more. But if you change this one over the ABTD, so this minimum mesh setting will appear along the x, y and z direction. So that will, or that may affect your simulation time very much significantly. Okay, so I am just overriding this thing and I am placing it and I am checking with the memory once again. Look at here, the, right now the complex electronic field reflective index is taking the 2 MB memory as the i put this mesh uh, and in absence of this mesh if i disable this one this one is only 48 kb okay so obviously the memory requirement gets increased as you are putting additional meshes let's run it oh you have to save first well the simulation is completed now let's see the movie what the simulation generates so this is the wave it is generating and this is showing but once more you can see if i play this wave is not looking like periodic it is looking like most of the cases gaussian type as you can see this is a gaussian uh, type waveform and it is, it is propagating it is entering into the second medium these things we can change by changing boundary condition that is i'm going to the ABTD, going to the boundary condition and first of all i need to change the switch layout mode or the switch layout mode means you have to uncheck this one or you have to click this one because it is directly it is uh, it is right now in simulation mode you have to bring it back to the editing mode i'm changing from block to periodic and simulating let's go for the visualization of the wave now look at there how the wave gets visualized now they looks like periodic so periodic or the plane waves periodic plane waves they are running well so that's for today in my next tutorial i will show you how to put uh, other monitors to calculate the transmission and the reflections till then thank you very much